In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can merge together photos as an HDR photo. Remember from earlier in the class that HDR or bracketing, which is basically the same concept, is taking photos, the same photo at different exposures and then combining them to get a properly balanced photo. So I've included in the examples an HDR folder with the two HDR sort of photos that I took. So we have one that's a little underexposed, one that is overexposed to get the details in the rocks. So in Photoshop, if you go up to the file menu, then go down to automate, then choose merge to HDR pro, a window pops up where you choose the photos you want to merge, click browse, find the photos you want to merge, select all of them, it could be two or even more, click open, it's going to appear there, and then choose OK. It's going to process those photos and open up this sort of HDR menu. So it's already gone ahead and processed both of these images together and you have several options for adjusting how it looks here. You also have presets up here that you can choose. There's custom, there's surreal, there's just different ones depending on the style you're looking for and also depending on sort of what photos you took. So if you start with the default, uh, which is makes really no adjustments, you can go in and now in this menu, you can actually make adjustments to things like the exposure with the highlights and the shadows, adjusting the vibrance and the saturation. You also have more adjustments up here like edge glow, tone and detail, which will make changes depending on what your photo is of. The radius basically in the edge glow affects the edge of things and how things are blended together. For this image, it doesn't do that much. For tone and detail, you can affect the overall exposure with exposure. You can increase the detail, with this detail slider, to give you more of that sort of typical HDR look. Gamma is similar to contrast in a sense where it's making things a little bit more contrasty or flat. So you can play around with that. And so go ahead and play around with your settings, make it look how you want, and then click OK. And it's going to open it up as a Photoshop file. This has been a little bit wonky for me in the past uh, where it actually crashed Photoshop. So hopefully with updates to Photoshop, this will work properly for you. If it does crash or if it doesn't open, try saving the file as a Photoshop project and then reopening it. I'm going to show you how to save the project in a couple lessons. So you might have to go skip ahead to that lesson if you don't know how to save a Photoshop file. But basically now you have your, your HDR photo that you can continue to make edits to as you wish. It's not a raw image, it's a rasterized image, but you can go ahead and right click, choose to convert it to a smart object and open it up in camera raw using the filter, camera raw filter, if you're interested in making adjustments using camera raw. So that's how you combine images into an HDR photo. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next lesson.